I did not hear her. I did not. It's not true. It is bullshit. I did not hear her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Hello there YouTube, it is me Random Ross and welcome to a random review from me. So, today I review um, The Disaster Artist and also I hope you're all having a great uh, holidays. Uh, so yeah, um, here's another film I need to catch up on reviewing and that is, like I just said, The Disaster Artist. Uh, directed by and starring James Franco. Also starring, uh, you know, Dave Franco, his brother, obviously, um, and Seth Rogen and Alison Bry. And um, this uh, is the true story, the uh, you know, comedy drama biopic of um, how Tommy Waiso, the mysterious Tommy Waiso, um, made the film that is today a cult hit, The Room. Um, so this is set in like around 1998 and then like it jumps to like 2003 and all that. Um, this is about how Tommy Wiseau made the film The Room, which he wrote, direct, starred and produced in. Um, and that. And there will be a review of The Room. I mean, I've seen The Room before, but I thought I'd rewatch it after seeing The Disaster Artist. Still shit, but I watched it and there will be a review on this. So, uh, back to the disaster artist. Uh, but this is what I liked about this film. And that. And the, well, here's what I liked about it. And it was fantastic. James Franco, he, he didn't just act like Tommy Wiseau, he became Tommy Wiseau. You know, his performance, he just. I mean, yeah, he had the. I mean, yeah, you could still tell it was James Franco, but he had like the long hair, the acting, and down everything in that down to a T. He was, you know, just great as Tommy Wiseau, especially reacting his infamous scenes from the film The Room. Um, and Dave Franco, he was a great supporting lead. You know, he always used to play like the shy, awkward kind in films. This also co-starred his real-life wife, or fiance, Alison Bry in it as well, um, playing his girlfriend in the film, and that. Um, and Seth Rogen, he too was in this film as the guy who was the co-producer of the room. Well, Seth Rogen was in it, and yeah, he was funny in it. It also had a cameo from Zac Efron uh, in this film, um, so... Yeah, that's all I liked about it. Uh, my negatives, my dislikes, I thought... Uh, I can't really think of much to dislike about this film, given how good it was. I mean, it's a good film about a shit film. I'll tell you that much. But, yeah, I can't really say anything negative on this film. Um, you know, because... Basically, oh, also it had a cameo from Brian Cranston, and that, and it was also during around that time uh, he was still doing Malcolm in the Middle. Uh, but yeah, I I enjoyed this film, and I can't really think of anything non-positive to say about this film. Um, you know, I even thought like the scenes when they were filming and stuff were quite funny. Um, yeah. I mean, there were a few boring parts in it, but but apart from that, it was a, in a very great and enjoyable film. So, yeah, um, the disaster artist. So, um, final thoughts and ratings. Jake Franco did a great job directing this film as well. I can't really think of anything else he's directed it, uh, directed and starred in. Uh, but maybe he's done more than that. But this is the first film I know of that he's starred and directed in. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with you. Oh, 
ratings. Almost forgot. So with all that being said, I'm giving the Disaster Artist. You know what? I'm going to give this a four out of five because yeah, it was a good film. So yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Uh, if you like this. Uh, I've already said that. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, you can also follow me up on social media, Instagram and Twitter, and my Facebook group, Merchant Movies and TV Shows. I decided to do away with the Facebook page because it just didn't take off. But given like the groups I've created, they seem to be doing better. So yeah. I've not quit Facebook altogether. It's just I just have a group page now that you can join. Um, so yeah, be sure to do all that. And yeah, um, did I already say subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell? Well, I've said it now. So yeah, uh, until next time, I bid you all a life is goodbye.